guys, it's October 7th, and uh, it's been raining all day, and the, the rain just let up, so I got in the tree. It's my first sit of the year. It's a pretty, pretty lush field right here, and uh, the deer have been feeding in this field in the, in the evening, so we're going to hang out and see if something comes by, guys. found a good blood in the field that evening and gave the doe three hours before tracking. Shortly into the track job, we jumped her. We backed out, waited till morning. Unfortunately, there was a heavy rain that night and it washed all the blood away. We searched for hours but did not find the doe. It was very frustrating after shooting thousands of practice arrows all summer to walk away empty handed. This reminded me though of what a wise man once told me. If things are going well, they're going to get worse. If things are going bad, they're going to get better. We're set up here, it's October 9th, and uh, I'm hoping this little finger of woods is a funnel leading to this bean field. I think it is, I've never actually hunted this spot, but I know there's deer bedded behind me, and I know there's a bean field over here, so we're kind of in the middle. We'll see what happens. On this evening, I didn't have any deer close enough for a shot, but I was able to observe how the deer were using the bean field and where they were entering the bean field from, and on the next hunt, I was able to move in closer. Hey guys, it's October 17th. What we got, we have a cut, cut bean field right here. I'm sitting in around some oaks that are dropping acorns, and then I think the deer are bedding right down this way. The wind is blowing back this way. Uh, there's a slim chance that they could get downwind of me, but I, I think all the action is going to be right, right here in front of me. So.
10 point. I saw him. Man, I think I got him. I need to look at the footage. I saw him down there. He's flipping his tail really fast. Man, I want to look at the footage and see where I hit him. I watched that buck come in. I saw him from 200 yards away and he crossed this whole field and came right in. I'm gonna give him some time, but I wanna, I think we got him. All right guys, good morning. Uh, shot a nice buck last night right up here around the corner. I backed out and uh, we're coming back in this morning to pick up a blood trail. We covered these cattails here and we look for blood where he's crossed the fence. Anywhere, we couldn't find much, couldn't find anything. Found some light blood right in here. But we've just been covering these cattails and we're gonna go over here and cover this bank right here. Uh, Oh, dude, here he is. <laughs> dude, he's dead right here. Yeah, let's go check him out. In hunting and in life, uh, we often encounter a roller coaster of ups and downs, good and bad, but there is one thing that stays consistently good over time, and that is Jesus Christ, and that is a hope that I cling to tightly. Psalms 23 says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Whoa!